Hey YouTube. As you can see this tank's pretty severely overgrown. We also lost one of the zebra fish. We lost the red one. It seemed to be either constipated or egg bound. So that was unfortunate. Um but as you can see, this Java Moss is just out of control. It's taking up a full two-thirds of the tank. So, going to have to uh, trim it back here shortly. Probably by the next video it'll be trimmed. Uh, I may have mentioned I added a second snail to this tank. You can see one way over here. With two nerites in here, uh, and an 8 gallon tank with very excessive lighting, the lighting in here is very bright, uh, the algae problems have pretty much gone away after adding the second nerite. So, I'm a big advocate for nerites, but you don't just want to willy nilly throw them into your tank, you want to make sure that you figure out exactly how many are most beneficial for your tank. So I usually start one per 10 gallons and then go up from there. Uh, in my experience, though, one per five gallons seems to be a good number, uh, at least with medium lighting. Um, my 30-gallon planted tank has two, and the algae problems are non-existent there. So I think it's because it's lower lighting. I'm going to upgrade the lighting on that tank shortly, and once I do that, I suspect I'll probably have to add a couple more nerites to keep the algae at bay. But... It'll illuminate the, the tank to the degree that this one's illuminated, which I really like. It makes everything pop, all the colors really stand out. And with those glow fish, you can really see their colors well. It contrasts with this dark green of the moss a lot, but given that this is my wife's tank, she wants this moss trimmed down because she doesn't like it very much. So I'm going to have to uh, trim it. Additionally, I still don't know what this plant is. If anybody can help me IDing it, I would really appreciate it. That tetra is really giving us a nice shot too. Um, but I think I'm going to grow it. So, Alright, thanks for watching YouTube.